Cryptocurrency has been growing in popularity since Bitcoin was made public in 2009. Now the digital money is also being used to scam people. In tonight's Your Money Matters, we look at how to avoid cryptocurrency scams. Cryptocurrency is a legitimate form of investment. However, scammers are now using it as another avenue for crime. Erica Colm is the director of Digital Forensics Services at DSU and says the scams take various forms, but a popular one is the romance scam. They'll get to know them, they'll, you know, they'll become friends and it turns into romance and then pretty soon it's, hey, I have an opportunity for you. And they'll get them to invest in their cryptocurrency, except in what the site they send them is not a legitimate site. And pretty soon they've invested more and more and more money. And then when they go to withdraw that money, they have to pay a tax or it's not really there or something has happened to their money while well, it's gone. And they can't get it back. South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley wants consumers to be aware of these scams. Obviously, crypto is being used more and more. There's not a, a national protection on crypto. There, the government doesn't back crypto, and we don't have a central bank addressing that. Um, so there are a, a few more opportunities for scam artists to utilize crypto or just the concept of crypto on the investment side. And like any scam, be careful with who you send your money to. If you want to invest in crypto, go to a reputable site uh, and make sure you're doing it on your own. Don't have anybody... No one should be asking for payment in cryptocurrency unless you are asking to do that yourself. There are sites out there that you can pay for things in cryptocurrency, but you should be seeking that on your own. No one should ask you for that. Colm says other crypto scams they've seen is people getting a call asking them to pay a warrant in cryptocurrency. Another scam takes the form of tech support with a fake online pop-up. To learn more about those scams and how to report one, visit this story on Keloland.com.